Hello to you beautiful people. My name is Noah Lakshmi and I'm here to elevate humanity for a better world. Thank you so much for joining me on this endeavor. Obviously, I cannot do it alone. If you are new to my channel, then welcome and I'm super stoked that you found my channel. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I truly do appreciate the ongoing support and I hope that you are receiving good information, beneficial information to apply into your life, to make your life better um, and those that you come in contact with. So that's what I'm here for and I use astrology merely as a tool to help us navigate through this experience that we call life. Astrology is an ancient wisdom and even if you don't know anything about astrology, uh, what I convey in, the, in these videos can definitely apply into your life, uh, practical tools and spiritual tools as well that can assist you individually on in your own journey wherever you uh, might find yourself at this point in your life. So uh, if you'd like to know more about me and the work that I do in the world, then please check out my website, noalakshmi.com, and I will talk more about that in, at the end of the video. So, um, so this is an astrology video because I'm, I'm starting to post, like I said, more um, of other videos and things that I really do with people and that I'm passionate about, like yoga and lifestyle um, and how to improve your life from the inside out. That's really what I'm all about. Um, so more videos will come. But these astrology videos I post once every two weeks, new moon, full moon. And we are um, approaching a new moon. Today is Wednesday. Um, it's Valentine's Day, February 14th. And um, I truly believe that, you know, it's kind of like a made up thing, um, val Valentine's Day. And the intention behind it is really sweet. However, <laughs> why don't we celebrate love ourselves and one another every single day and not just one day a year where um, we are being maybe forced or obligated but anyhow that's a whole nother story but it is wednesday it is valentine's day and um love is in the air um other reasons though not necessarily because it's valentine's day anyhow um tomorrow the 15th of february thursday we are having a new moon in the sign of aquarius what is a new moon new moon is when the sun and the moon meet so right now there's a dark moon we are in the dark moon phase where you cannot see the moon in the night sky uh, because the moon is so close to the sun and so new moon is the sun and the moon coming together and this is going to be a partial solar eclipse as well so just reminding you that we are in an eclipse season we had the spectacular lunar eclipse a couple of weeks ago full moon eclipse are absolutely stunning and we're still in that energy of the eclipse and it's super electrifying there's a lot of changes that happen during an eclipse and we have two eclipse seasons per year so we're going to have the second eclipse season six months from now what eclipses do is that they open up a portal they activate something they unleash a certain momentum or energy in your life where the effects or the outcome so to speak of what gets opened up during an eclipse or eclipse season may not reveal itself until six months later or even 12 months sometimes up to a year and two years of things that are happening for you internally and externally but mainly internally that you might not even notice or know and perhaps there are some things that you are noticing and knowing that will take place will reveal more of the bigger picture six months 12 months 18 24 months from now so um, that's why eclipse the eclipse season is a very potent fertile time the moon is is um, the power of the moon is amplified during eclipses and so the fertility of this time energetically is quite potent it's quite amplified so every intention you have thoughts things that you do choices that you are making decisions that you are to, uh, that you are making have um, almost 
an amplified impact on your life. Therefore, it's really good to amp up the awareness meter and uh, really noticing what is happening for you within and without and what is the best course of action for you to take because the, rep um, the ramifications of that are, um, are going to be almost multiplied, okay? So having said that, <laughs> this is a new moon on Thursday the 15th. The new moon, the solar eclipse is going to happen at uh, 1.05 p.m. Pacific time on the west coast of North America. Um, so you can make the ca uh, do the calculations depending on where you live in the world. It might be the 16th, Friday. And uh, it's a solar eclipse, new moon in Aquarius. Okay, and so we are experiencing all these eclipses um, in Aquarius. This is going to be a south node eclipse. And what does that mean? I talked a little bit about the nodes two weeks ago. That was a full moon eclipse on the north node. Now we're having a solar eclipse new moon on the south node in Aquarius. It's not exact. It's actually quite far from the node itself, but it is a south node eclipse. So what does that mean is this is a lot about releasing. This is a lot about the past and new moon, the, the dark phase before the new moon actually occurs there's a release, there's a letting go that happens. Um, it's not always comfortable, it's not always easy. However, um, releasing some of the past or um, maybe some, some things that um, are holding you back from moving more into the future, from things that are holding you back from moving into, I talked about this last week, your future self things that especially things that are still keeping your heart closed and with Aquarius I am looking at some traumatic experiences that are up for release and healing in order for you to move towards the North Node in Leo which is the path of the heart which is the path of your own creative expression which is the path of joy. It's the path of being a child and playing. And in order for us to do that, the trauma of the past needs to be, well, and I want to be very clear, suppression, denial, avoidance is not release, okay? It's important to acknowledge, and sometimes the release can come just from the acknowledgement of something. And some traumatic experiences that you remember and may not remember consciously, that now it's the invitation in order to open that new chapter, this new moon in Aquarius, the future, ascending into a better future those past traumas, those past experiences, um, some cords and ties maybe to other people that have hurt you, that those, like, those experiences and relationships may have traumatized you on some level. This is the release point, okay? And I want to say that, you know, when we hear the word trauma, we immediately think about really severe extreme events right like I was beat up or death or violent violent events or emotional trauma that that can feel very extreme and severe however to some degree we've all been trauma traumatized okay I consider myself somebody that had a really pretty cushioned childhood you know, I wasn't. I didn't grow up in any abusive ho household. Didn't have any what what we perceive to be traumatic events in my life. However, as children, and everybody does is doing the best they can. Our parents did the best they could. My parents did the best they they could. They're amazing parents. However, as children, there's some things that we didn't receive. There's some elements within us that did get traumatized 
And because we don't see it as trauma, then we think, oh, it's not, it's not there. I, I never experienced trauma. But to some degree, we all have. If you didn't get enough love, enough nurturing, enough attention, enough um, acknowledgement and appreciation as a child, guess what? There's some trauma that is locked somewhere in your body and in your unconscious mind. What does that do? That is a block. That is a block for us to really live fully in love and in our hearts because there's fear, because there's trauma. And what, what, what people do when they're, after they have their experience trauma, they want to protect themselves unconsciously this is all happening on a very unconscious level okay and especially when the south node is involved here there's the unconscious trauma no matter how tiny it may be that just for you to acknowledge it and to say okay yes I didn't get the love I needed as a child, I didn't get the attention, I didn't get the acknowledgement, I didn't get the appreciation, I didn't get the nurturing, whatever it was, whatever it may be. And it could be from a parent from the childhood. It could be from a significant other that you shared your life with for many years or maybe not even for many years. So there's levels to the trauma. We're talking about emotional trauma, there's physical trauma, um, even to some degree some spiritual trauma. Um, where you know you had a guru or you followed it and we see that a lot in the spiritual community following a teacher following a guru following whatever and all of a sudden you the, the bubble bursts right in your face and it's like oh my god the trauma that people go through and I and I know people in my own inner circle that have gone through that and that is very traumatizing you lose trust that's the bottom line when we are traumatized no matter what the degree is, we lose trust. Trust in, 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 in God, trust in love, in ourselves, in life, in people. And hey, guess what? When we don't have that trust, the love, we guard ourselves from love to flow in and out. We shut our heart to some degree. And when we shut our heart, we also shut our innocence. The innocent child that wants to play, that wants to enjoy life. And those are all ha that is all happening on a very unconscious level, like I said. And this new moon, okay, you want to move forward to more joy, to more fulfillment of your own creative, authentic expression, then maybe it's a good time to dig a little deeper and find if there is some trauma, small or big, no matter what. Um, and what is the remedy so we're moving into venus in pisces all right and venus moved into pisces a few days ago um we having this um this um sorry this new moon um with all the release that is happening and i'm going to get to venus in pisces in a moment but what i forgot to say is that this new moon is um squaring jupiter Okay, so we do have some sort of a crisis in faith, um, no, not, not, not believing, really n maybe not finding enough strength and inner strength to face um, the trauma or to face maybe some people in your life that you need to let go of, that there's some forgiveness that is necessary. Um, there's some cords that need to be cut. There's a lot of changes that come with new moon and especially eclipse and especially in Aquarius. Change, change, change. And to some degree, for some of you, it might be uh, radical change. And there's some unpredictability and some unexpected factors also, especially when it comes to relationship. This full, this new moon eclipse is conjuncting Juno, an asteroid. Juno, Juno is um, an asteroid that is associated with Venus, so it is connected to our relationships. Um, Aquarius itself is a very social kind of the networkable uh, sign where we are looking at our connections and our network and people that um, 
there's a, there, this is the time to actually disconnect from, disconnect from certain relationships, from certain habits, from certain patterns. There's that dis disconnection that in order to move forward needs to happen. And um, so crisis in faith and really believing um, that you can do it, that you actually big enough and courageous enough. Jupiter in Scorpio, there's a lot of strength. There's a lot of strength. And with the square to the new moon, when we don't pay attention to what life is showing us, okay, you need to let go of this. You need to let go of this person. You need to let go of this relationship. You need to let go of this job, whatever it is in your life, then it's going to get even harder. The lessons are going to be more intense, but why? For us to grow, sometimes we need that electrical shock. Jupiter and Scorpio squaring a new moon in Aquarius, and it's an electrical penetrating shock that, hey, just leave us no other choice but to change and to move forward. So I just want to encourage you, instead of waiting for that electrifying shock to do something that you know that you need to do. So that's the thing. When Sometimes you may know something, that you know that something is right for you, but it doesn't necessarily feel good. But you know it's right for you. So I want to encourage you to really follow what you know is right for you, even though it might not feel good at first. So when we are asked to let go of something, and it can be a habit or a pattern in your life, and again, in relationships, whatever it is that the letting go is happening, um, sometimes we even hold on to pain. It's like, I just want to hold on to the trauma. I just want to hold on to this, that this happened to me, and I'm not going to let it go, and I'm not going to forgive this person. And that is quite toxic, to be honest with you. And that's something that holds you back from moving into your heart, from moving into your joy, from moving into more fulfillment. So what are you holding on to that um, is not allowing you to grow? And hey, invitation to let it go right now before there's an elect electrifying shock. It's like, oh my God, okay, I must let go of this now. I have no other choice because there's kind of like a dead end if I don't. So do we have to wait until the dead end or can we take a different street that actually going to lead us to the destination? And we're looking at the North Node in Leo. That's the destination right now. So pay attention to that. Um, so as I was mentioning, Venus has moved into Pisces and this is one of the ways to really release yourself and find liberation. Aquarius, new moon is liberation and freedom. You want to liberate yourself from anger or maybe resentment that you're holding for somebody. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Venus in Pisces. It's finding our, our, our spiritual ability to forgive and to move forward and to move on. It doesn't come easily sometimes. I know that, especially when some difficult uh, events took place, especially between other people. So Venus in Pisces is giving us that reminder right now. Forgive. Open your spiritual awareness to see that everything that has taken place in your life, life up until this point was absolutely perfect. The pain, even the trauma, every single person that has ever walked into your life and play, played whatever role that that person played was perfect for you, for your own spiritual growth and evolution. And hey, yes, it's not always easy or fun or pleasurable, but to find that forgiveness from that place I know that whatever took place was for my highest and best good. And from that place, we are able to forgive more. Maybe not forgetting, again, not avoiding, not denying, not suppressing, but come up with a declaration saying, I forgive. 
And most importantly, forgiving yourself. Forgiving yourself for whatever choices, decisions, action steps that you've taken in the past that maybe now you regret or deem to be wrong. Can you forgive yourself knowing that you did the best you could? Venus is going to conjunct Neptune on the 21st, okay, and squaring Mars at the same time. And Mars is going to square Neptune the day after, there's a lot happening, the day after the new moon, Mars is squaring Neptune, um, and then Venus is going to square Mars while conjuncting Neptune on the 21st, almost a week after the new moon. And this is, you know, the, the warrior, the Mars in Sagittarius is, um, may not be so easy to forgive, not, not be so quick to forgive. There's some righteousness even with Mars in Sagittarius. It's like, no, this is, this is my way, kind of like a dogma or righteousness of like, I, I'm not going to let go of this, whatever that is. And, and I believe that I'm right. And I am just going to do this because I believe I'm right. But Venus conjuncting Neptune in Pisces saying, hey, maybe there's another way to look at this person or the occurrence or look at yourself. What is, what is it? There's some anger maybe and some righteousness that I'm just going to defend my point of view. And Venus, Neptune, and Pisces is saying, hey, there's a, there's a bigger picture here. There's a bigger picture here. And the more we can tap into that bigger picture, the easier it is to let go of righteousness and anger, maybe even rage. Um, at the end of the day, all that resentment, anger, rage is, is toxic to you, not to the other person, not to other people, but to you. And so the healing starts with that declaration, with that statement. I am ready to forgive. Maybe you don't feel like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really forgiving this person, but at least to take this step and say, I'm open to forgive. I'm open to maybe look at things from a different perspective and as a result, let go of, of some internal angst. Um, so there's the healing that, that this new moon is actually um, activating and unleashing is very potent with these energies um, coming in the days after the new moon. And then on the 17th, two days after the, the new moon, Sun is going to conjunct Mercury at the last degree of Aquarius, which is interesting because the following day, the Sun and Mercury are going to move to Pisces as well. So we are moving into a complete different energy. Everything has been very, very electrifying in, in um, Aquarius, moving more into the watery Pisces. Um, and Sun-Mercury conjunct conjunction in the last degree of Aquarius, very much related to everything I spoke about at the beginning. Um, bringing the conscious mind, the awareness into places that maybe are going to reveal some trauma, maybe are going to reveal some um, shocking information that is going to come up from within yourself and you'll be able to consciously with your mind look at it and evaluate it and, f and, and, and feel it. Feel it. Not just analyzing it, not just think about it. With Aquarius we can get a little bit in the head, but to have the awareness. Sun Mercury to me in Aquarius, it's, it's such a, it, there's an awakening. There's an awakening, an awakening to what? Awakening to what? What is it that you need in your life in order to be more liberated, in order to be free, in order for that freedom and liberation to move you into your future? You want to move into your future liberated and free. What do you want to be free of? What do you want to be liberated from? That's for you to know. That's for you to determine. And I really encourage you um, to go on that exploration um, and then find that, that peace and that harmony. Venus in Pisces and with the Sun and Mercury, everybody, everything is moving into Pisces, is our, um, it's the sense of peace that we can find. It's the sense of peace that we can find only after we've let go of what is, that is not, that is blocking that peace from really 
settling in and for you to embody that peace, for you to become that, that, that peace. Um, and then project that peace into all of your relationships and everything else that you do in your life. Oh, so yeah, this is very powerful times. And uh, when Pisces starts to, to get into our, into our lives, there's a lot of healing. There's a lot of um, spiritual awareness that comes in. And this is great. This is really good because it gives us the tool, like I said, to see life from a, from a bigger perspective, to, to look at our relationship, to look at ourselves, to look at everything that has happened up until now from a bigger perspective and to forgive and to move forward and I yeah sending you so much love on that endeavor and um, bless you on your journey and everything that you are releasing and letting go of I know it's not easy sometimes but it's worth it and um, it's going to bring you a sense of a sense of, 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 of truly who you are putting all the anger aside and all the pain aside and really tapping into this sweet essence of you, yourself as a, as a, as a, as a soul. Ah, yes, thank, thank you so much for tuning in and listening to this message I, I, I had for you for this cycle. If you would like to know more about me and the work that I do in the world, please check out my website, noalakshmi.com. The links below, you can also check out my book that I published in last August of 2017, Master Your Life with Love, How to Upgrade Your Life from the Inside Out by Cultivating the Most Loving Relationship with Yourself. Tons of practical tools in the book, so you are welcome to check that out in the links below. If you would like a personal reading with me, same thing, there's a link down below to book your session. Uh, and I would love to hear from you in the comments here on this video. Uh, contact me on my website. And if you liking this video and other videos, uh, please share this with um, others that you may think uh, benefit from this message. Share this on your social media network. Uh, thumbs up, comment, whatever. Everything just feels so nice. Uh, and the support that I receive, I really appreciate that. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Find me on my website and um, sending you tons of love, tons of love on this new moon cycle. Many blessings on your journey. Stay awesome, stay beautiful. I will see you next time. New moon blessings to all of you. Much love. Satnam.